the people who didn't predict them, they don't know how to solve them. They're just still making them worse. So we really need real change. You know, sending Chris Dodd back for another term, I mean, there's not going to be any change there. Who are your possible competition running for the seat? In other words, who do you have to knock out to get it? Well, the main guy who is the favorite of the Republican establishment because he's a party guy. Uh, He's, again, been in public service his whole life. He's in his 60s. He was a four-term congressman from Connecticut. I think the Republican establishment, the leadership, wants him because he'll basically do what they want. He'll be a good party guy. He'll follow in line. And no big deal. I mean, he's going to probably another middle-of-the-road rhino, you know, Republican in name only type. But he's the front runner. He's got the name recognition. He hasn't raised a lot of money. Like I said, I've raised more money than him just in the last few weeks. He's been running for six months. But he's the front runner. There's another guy, Sam Caliglia, who's a, a state senator, who's only raised a little bit of money. He doesn't have much support in the polls, so he's there. There's a new entrant, Tom Foley, who was a real Bush fundraiser. He was a big fundraiser for Bush. He got appointed ambassador to Ireland. He also got awarded some very lucrative defense contracts in Iraq. So he obviously got paid back, and he's a wealthy guy. He's been on Wall Street. He has a lot of money. He just married, I think, the daughter of the head of the Republican National Committee or some big, big shot in the Republican Party. He just married his daughter, just like, you know, I don't know, within the last year. So he's positioning himself to run. There's rumors today now that Linda McMahon, who's married to, you know, the guy who founded World Wrestling Federation, who serves as a president, she lives in Connecticut. Now there's rumors she's going to enter the race. I mean, there's other people. There are a lot of people that want to run against Chris Dodd because he's so vulnerable. So there are people who have ambition politically and who want the Senate seat. The difference for me is I don't want the Senate seat. I like my job. I mean, apart from the, the, the problems with, you know, having to deal with all the regulatory and legal issues that I hate about it, the rest of it, I like dealing with clients. I like making investments. I like meeting people. I like, you know, doing a good job for my clients. I have a good life. I don't want to be a senator. The only reason I'm interrupting my career is because the professional politicians have made a disaster of our country, and they're going to keep ruining it unless somebody comes into the Senate that has some sense and they can and to, can educate everybody else to understand why they've caused these problems, why they're making it worse, and what they need to do so the country can be prosperous again. The other people who are running, you know, they just probably want to be senator for whatever reason, whatever power they can get from it. I would prefer not to have to do it. But unfortunately, I don't see anybody else in the race who has an understanding of what these problems are and who actually, I think, can go to the Senate and make it different. Because I'm not going to go there to try to get reelected. That's not going to be my goal. I have one goal when I'm there. I'm going to spend my whole time doing that. I mean, they're going to know that Peter Schiff is in the Senate. I'm not going to be just another senator. And if I go there, maybe I can be as persuasive in Washington as I have been in my private life. I've been able to educate and convince a lot of people to understand the problems in this country and why they need to invest in foreign markets, get out of the dollar, you know, invest in commodities. And maybe I can be as convincing in Washington as I have been outside of Washington. Well, I tell you, it would be uh, fun to have you... When the uh, Fed testifies twice a year, we've always had fun watching Ron Paul quiz either Greenspan or Bernanke. It'd be fun to have you up there asking. But that would be if I was on that particular committee. You never know where they're going to place me. But in any event, I'd, I'd be on C-SPAN. You know, a lot of times on C-SPAN too, or you see the Senate in session or the House in session. I might make that network one of the most popular and highly rated in the country because I think a lot of people will be tuning in. <laughs> Uh, to, uh, to see and hear what I have to say. Well, listen, Peter, as we close, why don't you give out your website for your campaign, and if those listening would like to contribute, how they could do so. Please do that. Well, it's very easy. I mean, you can go to my website at shiftforsenate.com, www.shiftforsenate.com. My last name, for Senate, all one word, dot com. And you can make a donation online. You can also sign up to volunteer to the extent that you want to be contacted to help with the campaign in any way. Even if you live out of state, there still might be ways that you can help out. And so if you're interested, you can sign up for that as well, and we'll know to try to keep you informed. Also, people can contribute just through the mail. You know, they make a check out to Shift Exploratory Committee. That's Shift Exploratory Committee. And they send it to P.O. Box 1134 in Weston, Connecticut, 06883. That's P.O. Box 1134, Weston, Connecticut, 06883. Shift Exploratory Committee. And, you know, I can certainly use as much money as I can get. I think this election is going to cost upwards of $20 million. As I said, I put in some money myself. I know I'm probably going to have to put in a lot more money by the time it's all said and done. 
whether it's a million or two, I don't know how much I'm going to ultimately spend, but I certainly do not have the, the liquidity to spend $20 million over the next year uh, running for the Senate. So I definitely need help, but I think I'm getting it. I have a lot of clients. There's a lot of people in my database. There's a lot of people in the country who follow me, who are just fans of mine, who believe in what I'm saying and what I'm writing. And if everybody who knows me and believes in me contributes, then I think I should be able to raise enough money to give it a good try. Well, please let me know what we can do here at Financial Sense. Uh, once you announce your candidacy and the campaign gets along, uh, I'll be the first here on the show to say that I would endorse you, and uh, we'll do all that we can to help you. So you can put my banner up on your site, maybe. Or... Yeah. When you make the announcement, let me know, and we'll get behind you, Peter. All right. appreciate all your support, and thanks again for having me on your program. It's a great opportunity. 